everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a a project i don't i, I already forgot what the title is called build, build something look at that i've already hurt myself well, look what i got i got a yamaha there's a key oh yeah i guess you can see it right there too i set it right here there it is here's the key So this is a obvious a Yamaha Auto Lube something. Right, right here is supposed to be what it is, but I I got nothing. Even on the other side, I got nothing. So, um, not much moves. This moves still, but that doesn't barely move. Those are pegs. Uh, here's the mileage on it. How many miles it has? It's not terrible for being from the 1980s. Uh, the wires got cut. You can see them right here. I bet there was turn signals there. They probably got took off. That's probably what's supposed to be here or something like that. But seats crap. Tried knocking off them nails or them bolts. Couldn't get them off. But I have found a new seat because the front of here is just rusted the hell but trying to get this shock off and oh boy this is quite the barn find if you ask me being how good it is in condition kind of and not having a building on it even, most of this tubing isn't even dry rotted it's just that good just the wiring's gone and it's rusted I got this bolt just about off, and I should, and I thought I should probably start recording because I've already took off that cover. That key was stuck in there, FYI. But I think this is bent. I don't think I can get this back, but I probably can find a bit. shifter on good old eBay. You guys see the top of the shock? Yes, you can. I think a total of taken off three, four bolts already. And I've already cut myself. Unbelievable. Tires don't turn, I know that, but I guess I'm just taking off the easy stuff first. Because I know I'll have to rewire probably everything. And go through the entire engine. I have found on eBay a book. For all the parts because these are drum brakes uh brakes drum brakes uh and everything for the engine everything for the shocks the chain everything and electrical setup for well, i guess you guys can't even see but that over there let me take it out i saw a spider a big old spider I don't want to get bit. I bet it is poisonous. Also, don't know why this got put on there. But yeah, really cool barn find. Got it for $50. Now I want to get this into a trail bike, essentially. I am actually pretty proud of this find. Come on, just about out. But the more and more I look at it, I see the more and more rust. There it goes. Does she not want to move? Come on, wiggle out, man. I 
let them do that bolt, I might. Sucker even want to move. Struggles. Doing wrong here. There. Because I, main reason why I'm starting on the back is I want to see this chain, how bad it is. I probably need a new one. Depending on how many probably you could probably sit outside. Or in a shed, shed. I say it lightly. No roof. I'm surprised the building wasn't on it. I brought it home the other night. I'm gonna try to start working on it since. Our ag teacher said, or ag tech teacher, something like that. Come on. That sucker's stuck. Well, I guess we could do the other side. You guys won't have any lighting, so I won't record it. Yeah. Uh, something out of loop. It can range from a 50V to... An 80 V. 80 or 85, I don't remember off the top of my head. But there could be a seat in half and then there'd be a rack right there, but it isn't, so. You guys aren't gonna see it, so we're gonna just do that real quick. So guys, this is what we got accomplished in today's episode on the build series. And remember the name. We took off these two panels that say Yamaha. I uh, found out on this side where the exhaust is, there is a setting like set up for this rear light. And it says Mitsubishi, and I don't know if they have that anymore. I think it's like a voltage battery, but I don't know. And yeah, just about it. We just got these two off here. But I'm going to call it a night. Come back to it tomorrow. Try it again. But Yeah, other than that. Oh. There we go. I'm just going to call it a night. Just work on it on my personal time. I doubt them lights even work, but... Heck... Uh, I know I have to replace some of the electrical up front. I'm guessing the gas can ain't too bad, too great. The engine th doesn't seem to be too bad. Some of the tubing's pretty good, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, catch you all later. This is the Yamaha build. It don't, it don't sound great. Whenever I find out what kind of engine it is. I guess well, I'll let you guys know, but yep, I can take a quick thumbnail, let's take some pictures, all's good. Who's buying this? Buying what? Oh, the hot dogs at the gas station? That, that would be my big fat ass. Mm hmm that shit tastes good, I don't give a damn what nobody said, that shit yummy. That's yummy hot dogs.